Hello, and welcome to the second in the coffee processing videos we have done. And today we're going to be looking at natural, or sometimes called dry processed coffee. Cherries are picked from the trees and cleaned. They're cleaned so the producer can separate the unripe, overripe and damaged cherries and remove dirt, soil, twigs and leaves. This is often done by hand using a large sieve. Any unwanted cherries are picked out from the top of the sieve. The coffee cherries are spread out in the sun, either on large concrete or brick patios or on matting raised to waist height on trestles called Indian raised beds. As the cherries dry, they are raked or turned by hand to ensure even drying and prevent mildew. This can have a big effect on the final taste in the cup and stops an over fermentation of flavours. It may take up to four weeks before the cherries are dried to the optimum moisture content, depending on the weather conditions. On larger plantations, machine drying is sometimes used to speed up the process after the coffee has been pre-dried in the sun for a few days, although this is rare. The drying operation is the most important stage of the process since it affects the final quality of the green coffee. A coffee that has been overdried will become brittle and produce too many broken beans during hulling. Broken beans are considered to be defective beans. Coffee that has not been dried sufficiently will be too moist and prone to rapid deterioration caused from attack of fungi or bacteria. The dried cherries are then sent to the mill. This is sometimes done on the farms where hulling, sorting, grading and bagging can take place. All the outer layers of the dried cherry is removed in one step by the hulling machine. The dry method is used for about 90% of Arabica coffee produced in Brazil and most of the coffees produced in Ethiopia and Indonesia. Almost all Robustas are processed by this method. It is not practical in very rainy regions where the humidity of the atmosphere is too wet or where it rains frequently during the harvesting. And that's it, naturally processed coffee.